So today I'm here to explain how I made this card. Uh, first what I did, I had some bleeding tissue papers and I put them, tear them off and put them on my Nina Sula White, spri uh, spritzing it with some water. And as soon as I spritz some water, the colors from the bleeding tissue paper starts to bleed out. First I did with some pinks. So as you can see the pink starts dripping once I spritz a lot of water it needs a lot of water so first I'm trying to create my background for my card then after once I was happy with my pink then I took some blue and I put some blues here and there and then spritz some base water some more water so that the blue can stuck onto the base and then once I spritz again over the blue tissue papers it will start to bleed again After once I'm happy with it, I took my heat gun and dried off all the extra water from it. As you can see, it's now all dried up. I cut the paper to a size of five and a half by four and a quarter so that I can get ready for my card base and stamp some images from the flowering citrus stamp set from Altenew. Now I am just preparing my surface with dust buddy and I took one of the stamps, the third layer stamp from the flowering citrus and then I'm going to use my Versamark ink and stamp onto the base with the, my white embossing powder. Once I was happy with my base and the background which I did for my base, I started layering my flowers. I used tea, uh, tea party ink pads from the Old to New 
and first I took the lightest color which is my base color for my first layer and then I went up till three colors for my first flower and then I used the second last color from the top color to the top color for my two other flowers so from lightest to the third third layer the darker one and for my two flowers is from the second last to the darker one I have used scrap dots to stick my flowers and I've also used some foam foam tape to give a 3 a 3D dimension to my flowers and now I'm sticking sticking my all my hanging garden dies by trimming it down to as I like So instead of using the leaves which are provided in the flowering citrus, I have used the hanging garden dye from Altenew for my leaves because I didn't want it too much of green so that it takes away the back, the beauty of my background and my flowers. So I'm just using the hanging garden dye from Altenew for my leaves to make it complete, look complete. Once I was happy with my uh, card, then I did stamp some sentiments onto it, and one on on the on the vellum I stamped on the vellum with the Alter New permanent ink, and once I stamped it and I put it across the bottom of my card to make it finish. Hope you all like it. Please leave a comment. Thank you. Bye.